placement is arguably the most exciting part of nursing school and today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience and my reflection on my second placement on a general medicine ward for my third year of nursing school. If you're new here, hi my name is Charlotte, I'm a third and final year nursing student at AUT and I'm so glad that you're joining me for today's video. Before we get into everything, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff but for now let's just dive right in. So here is a little bit of background on on this placement. In my second year of nursing school I had my first ever placement and I was placed on a general medicine ward. At the time I was incredibly stressed and I felt like I had been thrown in the deep end. It was my first ever placement and I was very scared of looking like an idiot and not knowing a lot. My first placement was alright. I made a video about my experience and my reflection just like this video and as I mentioned in the video that I made about it I am incredibly grateful that I had that experience experience. I thought that being on a general medicine ward was incredibly good for my learning. It introduced me to a variety of different health issues and different treatments and really helped me build my foundational nursing skills such as bed making, patient cares, things like doing my vital signs, documentation, all of the need to know nursing skills. However, that placement was also a huge struggle for me but I am very good at dissociating so it didn't really hit me until a couple of weeks after I had finished the placement just how much I had been struggling and how stressed that placement actually had made me. So pretty much all of the staff on that ward were lovely, they were really really competent and they were really nice to me but they were also really stressed and really overworked and so the environment that I was in wasn't the best for the curiosity that learning requires and that students should have. <laughs> I also kept getting put with this one nurse for my preceptor like repeatedly. I think I had her the most over my placement. She was also really nice but she kind of gave me the vibe that she didn't really want a student and I just felt really really stressed around her. Again and I was terrified of doing something or saying something that would make me look stupid in front of her. I just want to emphasize that she was a lovely person but the environment that we were in meant that she was under a lot of stress. You know no mistakes obviously it's people's lives and stuff so I do understand but the experience as a student was really really stressful and yeah so I kind of just wanted to bring all of this up just to kind of paint a general picture of my first experience on a gen med ward and kind of why this experience put me off wanting to work in a hospital and do bedside nursing. During that placement I also gained a lot of weight and my diet kind of went downhill. I wasn't meal prepping or cooking anything for myself. I was literally going to McDonald's five days a week. So my diet went downhill. My sleeping patterns, which I prioritize sleep, I love sleeping, but my sleeping patterns went out of the window. I was waking up at weird hours, going to sleep at weird hours and not getting enough sleep or getting too much sleep and it was just a mess. I also wasn't exercising and I think the worst thing that I did on that placement was I socially isolated myself. I had this weird kind of mindset, mindset that because I was on placement I couldn't hang out with my friends or I was too busy or too tired to hang out with them and stuff and so I also felt really really alone on that placement. So I consider that first ever placement to be the beginning of the mental health spiral that I had last year. So keeping this in mind and also keeping in mind the fact that the whole point of placements is that we have a variety of experiences. It gives you the opportunity to understand what you're interested in and what you're not too keen on. Keeping all of that in mind, I was initially really really apprehensive about the acute nursing paper placement for this year. However, I did hype myself up about it. I got myself into a relatively good headspace and I was actually starting to get really excited about it. You know, I was wondering maybe I'll be on a cardiovascular ward, I'll be on something really interesting. Interesting. So I, I actually did quite a successful job of getting myself really excited about this placement despite having the really stressful experience from last year. So the day rolls around when we get that little email in our inbox saying that our placement allocations have been released and I open it up and my heart just drops because next to my name on the sheet is so Charlotte and then general medicine ward and I had to reread and double check that email like 50 times because I was just in complete disbelief that I was put on another general medicine ward and I was also really in denial that I had been put on a general medicine ward again and then when I realized it was true and that I was going to another general med ward I just kind of broke down and cried 
a lot and I called my parents about it and I cried on the phone with them. I was just really, really disappointed about the placement that I got. And then I pulled myself together. I try not to think about it. I emailed my placement coordinator team. The emailing system at AUT I think is really, I can't find the order that we're meant to email people in anywhere. So I emailed somebody about it. I never heard back from them. Once I realized I wasn't going to get a reply to this email, kind of asking if I could be moved potentially and stuff, the reality that I was definitely going to this general medicine ward kind of kicked in. And I kind of realized I just had to get over it, get on with it, pull on my big girl pants and just deal with it. I learned that this general medicine ward was gen med and dermatology. So I began to get more excited and again, I started to hype myself up. I was telling myself this will be a different experience to last year. You know, hopefully I'll get to do different things because it's dermatology, things like wound dressings and I'll be looking at different skin conditions. It'll be really cool. And I was also telling myself that this year will be different because, you know, I've already had the experience on a general medicine ward. I'll know what it's like. I know what to expect. So I'll feel more confident about it. And yeah, I just convinced myself that it was going to be a different experience and that I was going to enjoy myself. And it actually was a completely different experience from last year. I'm so overjoyed to be able to say this. It was such a great experience and again I'm so grateful that I got put on this ward. I just felt so supported by each and every single one of the nurses and I just had a really really good time. So I think that the first thing that made this experience a lot better than last year was that I already had the experience of being on a general medicine ward. I knew what I was doing. I knew what to expect and because of all of this I was able to be a lot more proactive in my nursing skills and my nursing shift which I think really impressed my preceptors and the nursing team so that also gave me a lot of confidence so for example like I knew when the vital signs were due I had these patients so I could just go off and do them I didn't even ask my nurses can I do their vitals I would just go off and do it and if I noticed that my nurses were busy then I would just do their patient vitals as well so I think I was proactive and my nurses were impressed by me so I just felt really confident and competent as well I think that the second thing that made it really really enjoyable and such a great experience was that all of the nurses were just incredible and so supportive and encouraging of me. Like last year they were, you know, they're stressed and overworked but I do feel like the general vibe was that they kind of dealt with it a little bit better. They didn't give any indication that they felt like I was in the way or that I was a nuisance or anything. They were all very very involved in my learning and encouraged me to ask questions. They answered all of my questions and they never made me feel like the things that I was asking was something that I should already know or that's a dumb question or not. That I never felt like that. If I did something right they would comment on it and I would feel really good and it would just kind of reinforce that I had done a, a good thing and if I made a mistake they weren't insulting or frustrated or stressed about it. They just pulled me to the side, kind of explained you know where I had gone wrong. They gave me constructive criticism and feedback on it which was really really helpful and it just made me feel like all of this together made me feel really included and kind of part of the team and not just like a student visiting for four weeks. Another thing that made this placement really really good and this is gonna sound really basic but it was me learning from my mistakes from last year and actually looking after the entirety of myself this year. So with food I would meal prep on Sundays um, when I got home from work so that I had lunch and dinner put aside in the freezer so that during the week I would have something yummy for lunch and then I would also have my dinner for when I got home. And I didn't have to cook or stress about it. I could just put it in the microwave, zap it up, and I would have like a healthy, yummy food just ready for me pretty much. I also prioritized my sleep so that whenever I was tired, instead of trying to force myself to study or work on my assessment, I would instead just let myself have the sleep. And as a result, I was still tired because it's really like, it's really physically demanding and mentally draining work, but I wasn't as exhausted as I was last year. And I think the most important thing that I did was I didn't isolate myself from my friends this year. I made an active commitment to catch up with them if I was on a morning shift at least once a week. You know, in the evening if I was on night shifts and you know, my friends aren't morning people so if I was on night shift and we couldn't catch up, then what I would do is I would just keep in contact with them through Messenger. I would chat with, you know, Shannon when he was up in the flat and stuff so I didn't isolate myself and as a result, I didn't feel so lonely and I just was in a better headspace this time.
time around. This placement was also brilliant in terms of learning. I learned how to do lots of cool new things and it also gave me the opportunity to build on and solidify those nursing skills that I had picked up last year. So the new things I got to do, I got to do things like the oily baths and the potassium baths and the soaks. I got to do some people had amputations on my ward and I got to do the wound dressings for them. I was really involved with that. The nurses really like helped me do these and stuff. It was so cool. Not for the patient but for my learning. You know giving meds and food through an NG tube. I participated more in the codes that were happening so like actively taking the blood sugar. One time my patient and my nurse's patient was in one of the isolation rooms because they had you know airborne contact kind of thing and they were in a code and we were already in the room and because you know all the doctors and stuff have to put on their stuff we were kind of running everything while they were getting themselves sorted so we were taking like their blood pressure doing their vital signs taking the blood sugar and just kind of relaying everything back and I was involved in that and that was the most involved I've ever been in a code so that was also a really good learning experience for me. <laughs> I also gave an enema for the first time in this placement, which wasn't something that I had anticipated doing. I don't know, in my head I just didn't associate students doing stuff like that, which is so dumb. But anyway, I got to do one and it was, again, a really good experience for my learning. I also had a really lovely moment with one gentleman who did a prayer with me before I left to go look after the other patients. And I also got to go to lots of the educations and teachings, so I think I did one on how to look after hematology patients, one on continuous furosemide, one on the multi-resistant strain of bacteria, and one on Pacific Health Services. So I got a huge variety of different teachings and I got to attend them. Again, excellent for my learning. Because I was proactive and demonstrated that I was open to learning and trying new things, and that I was also capable of the things that I did know, I was given a patient load each shift. So obviously my nurse would supervise me and make sure that I was doing everything right but I was pretty much given free patients each shift and then just kind of left to my own devices to kind of go over their notes and write their notes, make a decent shift plan. I was the one that had to go tell my nurse like this patient's meds are due now, we should go do this. And this person needs to be turned, this person needs their wound dressing changed. You know, that was all my responsibility. And again, my nurse would check that I was doing everything correctly, that I had documented everything correctly. I'm not allowed to give meds by myself, so anything medication related I was supervised for that but because this was an experience like the free patient have my own patient load throughout the whole placement I really did feel less like a student I'm more like a, a baby nurse you know I felt really responsible for my shift I you know learned how to make a really good shift plan and be able to stick to it those time management skills I really picked up on and I think most importantly because I felt you know really responsible and quite competent I did get a lot of motivation back for nursing school which I think if you've been watching my videos you know that last year I had a huge huge struggle with that especially in semester two. So my mental health at this stage I had improved quite significantly from last year but before that placement um so the only thing at this stage that was getting me through and kind of giving me any ounce of motivation was me picturing myself graduating and showing everyone that it was worth it and that you know I had done this all the hard work was worth it but this placement left me feeling a lot more encouraged and gave me back my positive mindset regarding nursing school you know I would wake up each morning exhausted but really excited to go into placement um, and because I was feeling confident and capable on the ward with all of my patients I didn't really feel stressed or anxious just as I say curious. So by the end of this placement I was feeling excited for my next lot of placements and eager to get back into studying and revising and just participating actively again in nursing school. So overall I walked into this placement feeling really apprehensive and a little bit stressed because I kept having flashbacks from last year's general medicine experience but by the end of the placement I had loved pretty much every minute of it. It gave me back so much of my confidence and gave me heaps of it. You wanna come in, darling? Come in again. And look, can you see Gina? Oh, my baby. You, Gina. Gina. 
it gave me back so much of my confidence and gave me heaps of opportunities to continue building on my foundational nursing skills and pick up new nursing skills. I felt included and part of the healthcare team and I also got back my motivation and excitement to study. Um, I just wanted to end this way thanking all of the general medicine team, all of the nurses, all of the nurses and my preceptors especially. I learned so much from you all and I'm just so grateful to have been able to learn from you and to have been so supported by each of you. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll see you next Monday with a new video but until then, have a lovely day and a fabulous week. Bye!